All right, the Blitz is back, and we continue our high school football coverage with some MAIS football, Joe. Yeah, the private school regular season is almost over, and teams are jockeying for playoff seeding. MRA looking to get one step closer to locking down that top seed. And MRA was at home tonight hosting Park Lane Academy, and MRA was control uh, late in the second quarter. John White and the Patriots in the red zone on third and goal finds Matt Latham for the red zone touchdown. MRA goes up 28 to seven, but Park Lane would answer on the ensuing kickoff. Jax Toller grabs the short kick, gets a block. He's looking for the end zone, and uh, he puts the Pioneers in the red zone on the big return. So a few plays later, Henry Brewer breaks the plane on the QB sneak. He scores a touchdown. He took out Toller on the celebration. Park Lane makes it a two-score game again. But uh, White and the Patriots went to work with a minute left and a timeout left in the first half. Rivers Godwin gets the catch, and that got him into the red zone. And with two seconds left, Jack Madden splits the uprights for a field goal. MRA went up 31-14 at halftime. They go on to win it 45-21. All right, now we take you out to Central Hines Academy where the Cougars are taking on the St. Andrews Saints. And uh, from the jump, the Cougars pounce. Opening kickoff, senior running back Trey, Trey Kelly shows you why he's a former Blitz 16 Player of the Week. Taking this all the way to the house, leading this pack virtually untouched. What a way to start the game. The Cougars go up 7 0. Uh, Saints now trying to answer as they get the ball. It's Mark Eaton draws back, drops back to pass. And uh, the Cougars middle linebacker, Braden Bullock. That is a pick six. The Cougars offense hasn't been on the field yet. But when they do, it is magic as Central Hines QB Brady Clark uh, fakes the handoff, fools our camera man, but he passes to his wide receiver, Nash Durr. He goes off to the races, and he would score. Central Heinz Academy all over St. Andrews, 54 to nothing. Jackson Academy Raiders are in their first season under Aubrey Blackwell, and let me tell you, these guys love playing in overtime. They don't sweat it at all, as you're about to see in this one, because this game with Presbyterian was just nuts. This was the 19th meeting between JA and PCS, and it was senior night at the Brickyard. PCS got the scoring started with a one-yard run touchdown from Damian McNair. The Raiders answer, though, on the next drive. 20-yard run by A.J. Parker, his fourth of the season. J.A. led 10-7 at half after an Andrew Harrison field goal. PCS, though, they're going to do this crazy little kick to come out of halftime, and they're going to recover. Check that out. You don't see that every day. But two possessions later, they would cough it right back up. Cannon Crowder is going to grab his third interception on the season. And now it's, oh no, it's, that's actually a touchdown from PCS on fourth down. And then JA, they're going to cough it up right back to PCS. Like I said, this game is just completely nuts. They give the ball back, but then check this out. That's a fumble recovery for JA. They get the ball right back, and that would set up the 47 yard career long field goal from Andrew Harrison to force OT. And after PCS field goal, DJ Watkins runs it in from 10 yards out. And that's the ball game, folks. JA wins 20 to 15 in OT, the third overtime win on the season for the Raiders. And they get their first conference win in miraculous fashion. Let's follow the smoke out to Flora, Mississippi. And, and because Tri-County, they came out on fire. And it's Tri-County's Bryce Warner. He's going to toss it to Ty Milner for the touchdown catch. TCA is up 7 to nothing. Now, St. Aloysius would gain some nice yardage on this catch right here. Check him staying on his feet, extending. But later, Carson Smith would take a hit near the end zone, and that ball is going to come out. Tri-County's Michael Broadwater recovers for the touchdown. The point after is good, and 14-0 Rebels. Tri-County, they improved to 8-1 and one with a huge 47-0 win. In another MAIS results, Capaya wins 41-7 over Silliman for a nice road win, and Canton Academy wins big 50-14 over Winona, also on the road. Up next, we... And up next, we step away from the football field to highlight this week's Blitz 16 Player of the Week. Stay with us. More of the Blitz is on the way.